friends, welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're going to make some roasted beets hummus. Hummus is a Mediterranean dip. It's creamy, delicious, and high in protein, and it's served with fresh warm pita bread. And the most delicious one is the homemade one. <music> everything set up and ready to go so let's jump into it first we're going to roast some beets for that wrap each beet individually in aluminum foil large enough to completely enclose it make sure to wash beets well before roasting and no need to peel the beets keep the skin on i usually roast beets the night before repeat same process with garlic cloves wrap a few garlic cloves in a piece of aluminum foil i'm using about three to four garlic cloves but you can use more or less next place the wrapped beets on a large rimmed baking sheet so it will catch any of the beets juice that runs out while it's roasting bake beets at 400 degrees fahrenheit for about 45 minutes to 75 minutes depending on their size you may want to check the beets every 20 minutes or so. Beets are done when a fork or skewer slides easily to the center of the beet. Small beets will cook more quickly than larger beets. And once the beets are done, set aside until cool enough to handle. The skin should peel away easily. If it doesn't, the beets likely need to cook for a little bit longer. You can easily wrap them back in aluminum foil and bake for another 10 to 15 minutes, but making sure not to overbake them. Peel the roasted garlic. You can use fresh garlic, but if you want a roasted flavored hummus, you may want to use roasted garlic. Garbanzo beans or chickpeas are the best for hummus. We only need one can, about 15 ounces. We're going to open the can and drain the juice and peel the garbanzo beans. The bean skins are edible, but if you want smooth and creamy texture, it's better to peel them. For this recipe, we'll need a high-speed blender like Vitamix or a good food processor. Measure out 1 4th cup of toasted sesame seeds, add to a blender. Next, we'll need extra virgin olive oil and add oil to a blender. We'll need zest from one whole lemon. Lemon zest will enhance the flavor, so it's better not to skip it. Then we'll need fresh lemon juice. It is important to use fresh squeezed lemon juice, but not bottled juice, and add that to a blender. Then add peeled and clean garbanzo beans to a blender and add roasted garlic. Then add plenty of salt and black pepper. Then add some ground cumin and sweet paprika and of course roasted beet. Now it's important to let the blender or food processor run for two to four minutes so the mixture will blend well enough to a super smooth texture. If you are using powerful processor, it shouldn't take long. The texture should be smooth and creamy. Scrape the hummus into a serving bowl, of course if you're serving right away, or store hummus in the airtight container and refrigerate up to one week. I like to serve this hummus with freshly baked whole wheat naan or pita bread, but you can enjoy mostly with anything since it's just a dip and it's truly delicious. I hope this recipe will be your next best dip on the list. Enjoy! So good. It's really good. It's really, really good. Mm. Good stuff. I hope you will enjoy this recipe. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more recipes, and I will see you next time. Bye.